Hi Scorpio, welcome to your reading. This is going to be for mid-October. It is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. If this one doesn't resonate, definitely check out those other placements. It is a general reading, so it may not resonate for everyone who watches. So we're going to get into your recent past, your current energy, and the near future. And then we will check into your person's energy and your energy, whoever's on your mind. All right, so for those of you returning, thank you so much for all of your support. If you're new, welcome. Sorry, I just shook the camera. I hope you guys will stay. I do do personal readings, so if you'd like one of those, the information's in the description box below. All right, so let's get into your energy and see what's going on. So this will go out for about a month. It could be at any time. Just know that. So sometimes, you know, we put dates on it just to give a, a general, but it could also be that this energy lasts a little bit longer for you. Just depends on when you click in the video. All right, let's see. We have the Seven of Wands and then we have the Hierophant, okay? And the Seven of Cups in reverse. I feel like there's some clarity that it, you're getting a, around how you feel about commitment. That's interesting. It's coming up really strongly about how you feel about commitment, about marriage. Um, it could be just around long-term relationships, things like that. Oh, a lot of energy around having looked through the past and where things weren't happy for you or they didn't work out and where there's been lots of heartbreak. So we'll go over that in just a second. We have the Six of Cups in reverse with the Ten of Cups in reverse and the Three of Swords in reverse. That's your current energy. In the near future, we have the Queen of Wands in reverse, the Eight of Wands, and the strength card. So you're definitely regaining your strength around how you deal with things, especially when it comes to relationships. So the overall energy is the queen of cups, which I love because that means that you're taking the time to really do some inner work. And I say inner work, we're always doing inner work. That can be repetitive in some of the readings, but it's about really loving you. That's what this journey is all about. And as exhausting as that can be at times to have to focus our energy back on ourselves, we have to do it, especially for those of you that have spent so much of your lives giving to everybody else. This is Spirit's way of saying the only way that you're going to find that kind of stability or that kind of independence, male or female, doesn't matter what they show up as in the card, it, you have to love you first. You just have to. Finding that stability within is what's going to create the joy, the happiness, the celebrating. Um, it also gives you an ability to make decisions about things so much easier and so much quicker than if you're doing it from a, a different place. In other words, when, when you're always thinking about other people first and you're not putting yourself and your needs, mind you, yes, if you have children, you've got to put their needs first but you still need to take care of you so you can take care of them. And it really is something that's difficult for a lot of people to do, especially water signs, right? You're very emotional, you're very attentive, but you need to focus on yourself. That's where you're gonna find that joy. That's where you're gonna find the balance. It's definitely gonna help you make better decisions about not only um, what you choose to do in your own life and your independence and how balanced you are there, but it's going to help you make better decisions in your relationships. So there's some past energies that you recognize why they were painful. Why did this hurt the way that it did? What, what do you realize now that you may not have realized before? I said this in Libra's video. It's about this retrograde has been a lot about bringing up old emotions, which they always are. People from the past, situations, energies, whatever it is that needs to be brought up so that you can release it, heal it, do whatever you need to do with it. Figure it out, get clear about it. All of that seems to be there because with the moon coming into play, yes, the moon cycles are going to affect you. We already know that. But there's, it's almost as if there were times when you lied to yourself. You'd make yourself convince yourself that you were happy in situations that you weren't happy in. And then you finally had to come to a place where you realized you had to move on. There's a lot of water energy here. There's Pisces, Cancer, you could be dealing with either one, um, Sagittarius, Taurus, and then we have a lot of fire. So Leo, Sag, Aries. But this is saying that you've had to get clarity around these areas of your life that maybe at times you stayed too long and you didn't feel like you could move. Now this could also be that you are realizing that something that may be at a distance may be too difficult to deal with. There could be some secrets that are coming to your awareness now and it could create your desire to want to move forward. I'm seeing the Eight of Wands in your near future. 
So that could be part of it as well. All right, so with the recent past, we have the Seven of Wands with the Hierophant and the Seven of Cups. When the Seven of Cups is in reverse, you're not confused about things anymore. And even though we really aren't necessarily confused, other people can try to create confusion, but we always have clarity within. And if you really do dig deep, you will realize that your faith, your trust in your intuition, and the things that you've had to guard yourself from have been showing you that you're really not in a place of one, being stuck, and that two, you know what it is now. I hope all this makes sense. It's coming out kind of blurby you're not confused about what you want in a relationship. You know that you really want to experience something that is going to be true, committed, and probably someone that's very faithful. So where there may have been delusion or confusion before, or you didn't understand why things couldn't have worked out, I think you're getting clarity around that. This to me is just saying that you're finally setting proper boundaries. Even if you've set them in the past, you're setting them even better than you did before. And you could feel a little bit defensive. So if people are approaching you at this point, you may not be quite in that spot of like, I want to have a discussion about this. I just right now need to kind of hold my hand up. I keep wanting to put my hand up, like just stop. Just let me be. I'm finding clarity around what I want. And you could have done that and even said that to somebody in the past. Like I, I get what I want now and what I want matters. In the current energy with the Six of Cups, the Ten of Cups in reverse, and the Three of Swords. It's having left anything from your past that wasn't making you happy. I just feel like you're getting true clarity around that now. So you could have had it before, but you're getting even more. The retrograde's like, nope, let's dig a little bit deeper. Let's see really why you made the choices that you did. What lessons did you learn? All of those good things. It's a repetitive thing. We don't stop learning until the day where transitioned back to where we came from. In this case, it's really not having any tolerance for the things that you dealt with in the past. But until you have clarity around that, how can you make different choices? So in this case, a lot of that energy is really being released. In the near future with the Queen of Wands, you could just be a little bit exhausted or tired of dealing with people who do not know how to connect on the level that you do. So being a little bit tired, it could create difficulty in forward movement but it's almost like no matter how you feel no matter what you've been going through emotionally or otherwise things are going to start coming to you and happening like life still goes on so the movement is not going to slow down and it looks like somehow some way you regain your strength and you just push through it's loving on yourself so whoever this energy is of the queen of wands you could have just had a, one of those moments where you realize that somebody is not as true their true colors may have come out and they're not as true as you thought they were when we saw the moon that could have been what came to light so it could be a female energy male energy doesn't really matter it just is someone who kind of hides behind a false mask and yes could it be a little bit of narcissism i don't feel like it's full on they could have tendencies of that but they just are not as true of a type of person as you are and that creates a, a need to either communicate how you feel, having the strength to communicate exactly how you feel, what your boundaries are and what you will and won't tolerate. Also just moving quickly beyond those types of situations. If you can have your boundaries and still deal with this person, if you don't have a choice about whether you have to deal with them or not, let's say it's somebody at work, that's okay. Just remember, it's about you. It's not being selfish to focus on you and protect yourself against people who are like that. You're regaining that strength in that area. You guys are good about that, but at times we all have our breaking moments, right? So something's definitely going to be shifting in the near future for you guys around like really finding the strength to push through no matter what's going on. All right, let's look at the Seven of Wands with the Hierophant. I think you're getting defensive in a sense about where you stand when it comes to long-term relationships, what your faith may be in them, how, just how you feel about it in general, if anybody approaches you. It's like you've just come to this point where you've, you've come to a conclusion. Like there is no like changing your mind at this point. 
For some of you, it's you definitely want to settle down. For some of you, you will never do it again if you've already been married. And it's not going to matter what somebody says. It doesn't even really matter what the experiences were from the past. You know that they're that whoever you were with is not the same person as that person. It, does, it just doesn't matter. There may be a part of you that just says it's just not necessary. I think we can have a relationship without that kind of a... A commitment. I think I've said this to you before where some of you just don't care about that piece of paper. You'd rather just enjoy your life with someone. All right, let's see. Seven of Wands and the Hierophant. Yep, Nine of Swords. Because you don't want something to create that kind of lack of sleep. Maybe you just don't want to live with someone. Maybe you don't want them creating a, a lack of sleep or you don't want any kind of betrayals um, to create that sense of I'm losing sleep over a person. If you set your boundaries properly with someone and you know what you're getting into, you know what to expect, then it doesn't create the same kind of stress or uh, betrayals because you just don't allow the same things to happen. You pick up on stuff before it actually happens. So it doesn't recreate what you've already experienced. And then the star wanted to come out. I love that as we're just shuffling along. And then they're showing the lovers on the bottom of the deck. So where you have wished and hoped that something could just be exciting and new and feel good, you've healed from those things. Most of the healing has been done and now you just want your wish to come true. So you may have met somebody, yes, absolutely, that is kind of on the same page as you. Right now, I think it's more focusing on yourself, whether you're in a relationship or not, and what's really going to make you get excited about the future. What is your wish? What do you want? Really, really want deep down inside. Don't let these things, if you can avoid it, stress you to the point is what Spirit's saying. Don't let it stress you out. It's not worth it. If somebody doesn't understand where you're coming from, that is their problem, not yours. All right, let's look at the Six of Cups with the Ten of Cups in reverse. So we have the Empress in reverse. That's those situations. You could be going back and feeling a little bit exhausted from the repeat of these things that have come back during this, this particular retrograde. It's been a tough one for a lot of people. I can speak for myself. It's been very emotional, lots of ups and downs. It's like, oh, when is this going to be over? So you could just feel like you're not quite yourself. All right, let's look at the Ten of Cups in reverse with the Three of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles. But because you are letting this come to the surface, even if you're not feeling like you, the reason is because a stable beginning is what you're going to create. Most definitely. That's what turns things around. It's like, whether it be a work opportunity, it doesn't really matter. With the Ace of Pentacles, it could be a new anything. Whatever it's going to be, it's going to be something stable. So what you have your mind set on, if it's a new stable relationship, somebody who understands you, it doesn't have to be as emotional. You can be more grounded in the relationship, and that's why it feels so much better than anything you've experienced before. I feel like this is you looking... Like I'm regaining my strength and this is what I want moving forward. I want to see the results come in this kind of a way. Yes, I can be open emotionally, but I'm going to be more protective of myself as I go to this new grounded, stable beginning in my life. So you could feel like in a sense that you're starting over. For some people, you are. And this is just the final chapter of closing out the things that weren't working so that you could find that new start in your life. All right, the Queen of Wands in reverse with the Ace or the Eight of Wands. We have the Devil in reverse. Mm -hmm. I want to get one more card because, yes, that's releasing of any kind of codependencies, any kind of toxic energies. Could be that that person is um, being shut out of your life and pulled away on purpose so that you don't have any distractions. So whoever that is that's an issue, I feel like that's being closed out. I'm going to get one more card for me. Well, we're actually going to get two more, so bear with me. They wanted to pull this out. I just feel like there's more messages. All right. So strength and the high priestess. Absolutely. See, you're regaining your strength twice. That's saying that you're in the near future. It's coming back. Wherever you felt depleted, as you start to trust your intuition more, it never stops getting better and better. I'm just going to say it's always, even if it comes up in every reading that you have, that's what's going to help you 
get away from these types of situations. That's what's going to create the strength that you need to stand up in any circumstance, whether it's work, partnerships, friendships, whatever it is. You're going to have the strength to move forward and beyond this. Something's coming to you. I feel like you're going to have a new sense of self. It's it's different than just trusting your intuition. It's almost like it's heightened to a point where you can smell, <laughs> this is going to sound really funny, where you can smell people's bullshit from a mile away. Like where you've probably felt things in the past and maybe sometimes let things slide. I feel like the reason her head is back and I keep wanting to giggle is because I just sense that you're going to get to a place where you're like, I just smell it. I smell it coming. I know it's here. Don't try me because I'm just too far beyond. So many people's senses are being enhanced so much right now that you just can't deny what you feel, see, hear, in a sense, what most people think they don't have, which is clear audience. All of those things are going to be happening whether you realize it or not. And that's going to help create that strength that you need to keep it going. And then things move a little bit quicker. There's a lot of communication that seems to want to happen. So if there are people who are starting to understand that they can't cross certain boundaries with you, they may not like it too much. So just know that they're going to feel a little resistant um, in the way that they deal with the, I say resistant. In other words, they're going to kind of be, they're going to stand off, be standoffish. If you've always been really, really kind and let people get away with their bullshit, as soon as you stop allowing that, that's when people start to get really angry. They don't even realize it. They just know something's different and they don't like it. All right, the Eight of Wands with the Strength card. Then we have the Page of Cups. So there could be somebody in your life. Now, this is going to be for those of you that have either a younger sibling, I want to say, or a child who is still kind of in an imbalanced place emotionally. Could it be a male? It could be either. It doesn't matter. Gender doesn't matter when it comes to the Page of Cups. Now, I don't want to say this is someone who's necessarily immature because I immaturity to me in this case feels like someone younger. So if they're struggling, you may know it, you may feel it and be wondering why you have such a keen sense to what's going on with them. You just get them and I feel like they have the ability to open up and talk to you and feel safe with you. So that's a really beautiful energy. So you're going to need your strength because this person's going to need you. Okay. It doesn't matter what they are in your life. They could be younger. Um, it could, like I said, it could be a younger sibling or it could be a child. All right. Now. I'm going to clear this and we're going to get into whoever's on your mind. So think about that person for just a moment. Let me clear these up. They want to turn that Ten of Cups in the upright. <coughs> All right. So this is for Scorpio and their person, please. Okay. They only want two cuts. Your person hurting. They don't like this. Ooh. Okay. Who are you dealing with here? This person's feeling really betrayed. Like they feel left out in the cold. If you ice somebody out, they're just not happy about it. Not happy about it at all. They're trying to act as though they're happy, but they're not. All right. So your energy is the six of swords in reverse with the wheel of fortune, six of cups in reverse and the nine of pentacles. And then we have the Ten of Wands. So there could be a lot of stress between the two of you right now for who this resonates. Your person is definitely feeling completely uh, like stabbed in the back. Whether it's actual or not is what I want to say. They feel very left out in the cold. They feel betrayed. But to me, it's because they don't recognize their own behavior. It's like they pretend that they aren't somebody who pulls some, you know, kind of shady stuff at times. They could be in a place where they appear like they're happy or that they feel like this is what will make them happy is this relationship, but I don't know that they can be honest with themselves about what part they play. So, hmm, interesting. So you, Six of Swords in reverse with the Wheel of Fortune, Six of Cups, and the Nine of Pentacles. This is remaining too self-focused on you, your independence, your self-worth, not wanting anything from the past to create an imbalance in what you're either building or what is coming towards you. So you fought long and hard to get to a place of peace. And now that you are there, I don't feel like you want somebody from the past to come back and shake that up. 
So that's for those of you that are dealing with someone from the past or someone that may feel like you've left them out in the cold. It could be reversed, but I don't usually sense that. This seems very strongly your energy and their energy. So that's how they're feeling right now. For those of you that are in a relationship with this person, it's like they, I hate to say this, I'm so sorry, but I, it's like they play the victim all the time. Like it's always about how hurt they feel. Like I said, they, I don't feel like they can take responsibility for their own actions. All right, let's look and see with the Romance Angels. What's going on here? So we have romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Codependency, I said that. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. So somebody has some codependency issues for sure. Love yourself first. I told you this in the main reading. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. And then past life relationship. You have known each other before. Finances and career financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So for you, I don't think it's that there's financial issues necessarily. There could be for your person or for you. But it seems like it's more like I, I just want to focus on my work. I don't necessarily want this to disrupt my balance. Do I sense that the two of you have romantic feelings? I do. It's definitely a strong connection, but codependency is a problem, whether it's somebody having addictions or that they are just codependent, meaning they have to have a partner all the time. And then love yourself first. We, we talked about that. And past life relationships. So when it is a past life relationship, and yes, there are a lot of people that go through several lifetimes, you just know this person at the core of your soul. It's like you feel them deeply. Does that always mean it's going to work out? Not always. But it does feel like you know each other very well. So that could be part of what bonds the two of you together. Let's get some advice and see what Spirit has to say. What's the advice for Scorpio? I keep wanting to shrug my shoulders. It's almost like there's a little bit of tension there. The five of cups in reverse. Let things go that have hurt and know that, yep, your independence is so important and loving yourself. Okay. Don't continue to have so much patience with something if it's not working out. If you sense that this person is going to stay in this particular energy, you need to focus back on you. So the advice is figure out what's going to make you happy and put anything emotionally disturbing or difficult behind you and maintain your balance. Keep loving on yourself. If this is meant to be, this person will shift in their energy. If they are toxic in any way and you they have codependency issues that are to the point where it's driving you nuts or that they have issues around drinking or other things that you know are, are causing problems, please guys don't, you know, yes, people can change. But you can't do that for someone. And I'm not saying that you're trying to. You could just be stepping back and wanting to allow somebody to fix themselves. You could also have some issues around that. I'm not saying that you guys are completely um, necessarily um, perfect in this. Some people, you know, it could be reversed that you might have some issues you're dealing with yourself and that's created problems and hurt your person or they brought up to you how they feel about those things. All right, let's get the lover's oracle and see what that has to say. This is for Scorpio. All right, this one's pulling out these two. So we have freedom. There is nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. Absolutely, it is. Imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. And then we have reflection. Give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. I agree. For some reason, I do think there needs to be space in this specific situation. All right. Lastly, let's get a couple of cards from the Wisdom of the Oracle. This is for Scorpio, please. Okay. So we have no place like home. There is something about your energy shifting. That could be a change of home for some of you. I don't feel like it's something that's really being focused on. I think the energy is that what makes you feel at home is what's important. Yes, there could be some shakeups, but it doesn't have to be that you're physically moving. It could just be that there's changes you're making around your home. 
come to the edge. This is releasing anything that doesn't work. That's a nine, closing out the cycle. So whatever's come up for you during this retrograde, let it go. Yang is a one. That's a refreshed, new, masculine type of energy I'm sensing. Some of you are like allowing that to be and speaking your, your truth. So not that feminine energy doesn't speak their truth. It's just saying that there's a, a strength about it that I feel. It's like, I feel good about me. I'm stronger. And then we have mending and treasure island. So something good is definitely coming about. Treasure Island just says, as you close out the one thing, new things come in. Now, could you mend this relationship? Yes. There's a sense of from spirit saying that's a seven. It's a protected connection. You can mend things. Are you meant to be together forever? Maybe not. But if it feels right to you and you know that you can still love yourself and maintain your independence and still feel healthy within the relationship? Absolutely. But if you're not, and you feel like this person doesn't take responsibility for themselves, there could be a need for that shift. So I just want to look at this one more time. And I just feel like these are some changes around your home space. It doesn't necessarily mean that there is a move. It just is showing me the five. So that means that there's some changes around that area of your life. Okay, guys, I hope this helped. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for all your likes, shares, comments, and subscribes. If you'd like a personal, that's in the description box below. I hope you have a great mid-month, and I will see you in the next one. Lots of love. Take care.